Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, Brand Live. If you haven't already, click the subscribe button. Follow me on Instagram at Brienne.live. Follow me on Twitter at Brienne underscore live. And follow me on Snapchat at Brienne Live. And just make sure you do all that so you guys can stay up on schedule and see when I'm uploading and also getting notifications when you do subscribe. So today is another episode of Hair Talks. And if you haven't already checked out my previous Hair Talk videos, you guys definitely should. You'll be in for a treat. So I came up with this bright idea to go ahead and give you guys tips on growing long relaxed hair through my hair talks. Now I'll be doing these videos ever so often when I think of things because I don't want to come on here repeating the same things other YouTubers have already repeated. I want to come to you guys with new fresh tips on how to grow long relaxed hair. So I'm just going to jump right into it. So number one, I say don't wrap your hair after it's gotten really heavy and greasy. That can definitely cause breakage. So like when I'm wearing my hair straightened like it is now, my hair is straightened right now. And it is weighed down with all the oils that I have put on it. So probably the first week I will continue to wrap it because it's still flowy and light. But when it begins to get heavy, I don't wrap it anymore. I just kind of put it all back and wrap my hair tie around it and then put my bonnet on. So I do double protection and they're both silk so that it won't get damaged while I'm sleeping. This is very important step because when you're wrapping your hair around your head, it is pulling your hairs into a direction that it's not really used to. And also um, the hair shaft grows down. So you wanna just keep those hairs in place so that there won't be any breakage and then the heavy oils and stuff that's on there will make it break when you're trying to force it into a wrap. So don't wrap your hair when it's too heavy. Another tip I want to give you guys is use dry relaxers. I know a lot of YouTubers use um, the relaxers where you put the solution in and then you mix it and stuff. But I personally think using dry relaxers are the best. Dry relaxers are relaxers that are already mixed through a machine so you don't have to mix it and then have human default which is mixing it and maybe you're not mixing it good enough well enough and you know you never really know when you're doing that process i know when um i was probably around in middle school i had breakage so one hair one side of my hair was longer than the other side and it was a really really drastic difference i still have that right now but it's not drastic you can't really tell only i know that because i do my hair all the time but I went to a beautician and she told me, you know, you should probably start using dry relaxers because, you know, with mixing the formula yourself, you may not be mixing it good enough. And really, um, it's no way you can tell if you mixed it good enough. So she said, you know, sometimes it may be stronger in some areas that you're applying it to your hair. So I just stopped using the relaxers that you have to mix yourself just so I can have the dry relaxers that are already mixed so I just apply and I know that it's mixed really really good because it's done by a machine and the machine mixes it mixes it mixes it really really good for you already so use dry relaxers avoid using relaxers that you have to put the solutions in and mix yourself so tip number three is relax your edges last I'm pretty sure you guys already know this but I do want to stress this relax your edges last because they are very brittle that's the finest part of your hair your nape and your edges you just want to do that part last while you're getting in the inside to where all the coarser hair is and then you want to lastly go and do your edges and then after you got all the relaxer on there you smooth with your hands with gloves on you just want to smooth your whole head and then you'll get in the shower or the sink or wherever you rinse it out and just rinse out the relaxer so tip number four would be always use a heat protectant even when you're not flat ironing your hair so that's a very very important step because I know probably when I was around in middle school I would notice that my hair is getting lighter 
and you got to realize when you're getting relaxers you're putting a chemical on your hair so you know um because your your hair is relaxed with chemical even if i go outside in the sun it's gonna you know make my hair turn colors so um just putting a heat protector on there at all times um, ensures that your hair, you know, doesn't get any breakage or doesn't get too brittle, doesn't lose the proteins and, and things that it needs to stay strong from the sun or even from flat ironing. So you always, always, always want to put a heat protectant on your hair even when you're not flat ironing. So these are my first four tips on how to grow long, relaxed, healthy hair. Um, I will be coming up with more as I go along and I think of things and I'm going to add them to my notepad. So if you guys have any questions, just leave them down below and I'll be sure to answer your questions. And if you guys have any more ideas for hair talk videos or just for my YouTube channel, leave that in the comment section down below as well. All the products that I use will be down in the description box. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope it was very, very helpful. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.